Hi guys and welcome back to our final lesson of our first unit. In this unit we're going to be learning a track that we've put together for you consisting of what we've looked at so far but the difference being is that we're going to change strings and change chords in slightly different places within the chord in order to keep the tempo and the rhythm correct. So we're doing this in 4-4 four, four, so there's four beats to the bar and another difference is that we're going to be doing eighth notes. We won't go too much into this, but basically it just means we're going to do two notes per click. So one and two, that type of thing. That's going to be the rhythm for the whole thing. So get your guitar and let's listen to this playthrough. If you just joined us, please remember that you can get the backing tracks, the tabs and the write-up all for free on our website. The link is in the description below. Also, please remember to like and subscribe and we'd love to hear from you how you're getting on. If you have any questions, remember we always respond to all the questions in the YouTube comments. So as you heard, mostly it sounds somewhat the same as the previous lesson we've done. I'll show you the differences because now that we're playing it to a beat properly as if it's a song, they're going to cut to the next chord in different places instead of going all the way back to the penultimate note of each chord. So for instance with the E minor, we're going 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and and we reach that four and that's the final note of a bar and we've got a different chord each bar so when we've reached this final note we have to then jump to the low or the root note of the following chord which is a G so so from here really we're going from the G string on our first finger to the low E string and this is really we're getting a look at the more realistic application of this rhythm, typically as you're gonna find in songs. So if we do that again, I'll count the beats. One and two and three and four and into the G. Two and three and four and. And you'll find when we're doing it with the six string chords in this particular pattern, the G string is gonna be the last string that we play in each bar because it just happens that the numbers work out that way. So let's try running those again and then we'll jump into the A minor chord. One and two and three and four and G, two, three, four into the A and the same thing. So we've ended the G on this note, the open G string, and we're jumping back with our thumb to hit the root note of the following chords. That's the theme that's going to keep happening. Wherever the chord ends within the bar, we're then going to have to jump from that finger onto the thumb of the next chord. And it's just that idea played out with all these chords. So the recap it was E minor, G, A minor, C, then D, same chords as previously, but now we've got the track and the drum beat kind of directing us, telling us where we need to change the chord specifically. So let's run through it all now. We'll do it slowly and I'll count the beats out for you. And we'll see where we have to change in each chord. So start with the E minor. One, two, three, four, change. 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 One, two, three, 
four, one, two, three, four. So as you heard there, there's two bars of D major and that's to try and keep it in line with the beat. So we've got an even number of bars, but it gives us a chance to see what it's gonna be like when we're just sticking on this chord and then jumping back in maybe a slightly awkward place within the chord when you're starting. So really we're kind of jumping from the top E string back into the E minor. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then back into the E minor. So that one kind of sits quite naturally with our fingers. So let's jump into trying this with the drum track to keep us in time. And remember that we're doing these as eighth notes. Previously we went one, two, three, four, but now we're doubling that one and two and three and four and. So we'll jump in a little bit slower, again, work up to the speed. So let's get ready with our E minor. One, two, three, and four and one. Miscounted on that last day. Don't let just don't let that throw you off. So that's uh, at sixty. You can see because we're doing these eighth notes, it's going to feel like a bit more of a push speed-wise. But hopefully at this point you've been working on it and you've been building up your familiarity and your comfortability with it. So now it's time to start pushing the speed a little bit that we've got the mechanics down. So again, don't be afraid if this is a little bit too fast for you to start with we're going to build the speed up slowly. So that was our 60 playthrough. And then we're going to go into a 70, which is the speed of the track. So you can really work on playing it with that track. Okay, same thing. Get ready with your E minor. One, two, three, and four. Um. And again, any slight inconsistencies that happen, you know, if you drop a finger here or there, don't worry about that. We're just trying to work on being able to play through something and applying this technique. It's not meant to be perfect just yet, but if you find that you're always making the same mistake or you're always dropping fingers, then that's something we're gonna to work to correct. We're not gonna worry about the occasional little error here or there. Okay, guys, stick with us as we're about to get a little bit harder in our next unit. So keep practicing and I hope to see you there. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you'd like to see the next one, please click here. If you want to start the course from the beginning, please click over here. And remember to like and subscribe, the good old stuff. And if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. We always respond to all the questions in the YouTube comments.